Hi everyone, Fyro here. Um, about to do a rework of my very first video, uh, staircase build, because some people have been having a bit of trouble with it, and there has been some changes in the tools and my understanding of how they work since then. So, so first thing you need is going to be just a sheet. So I'm going to make my curve. You know, it's fairly small, but you need a bigger sheet because you need some borders on it. So just drag that into the middle. Select the material and fill it. And using the heel tool in circle mode and just got to pick your size of your curve. Now, I much prefer even numbers because you always get one clean edge on anything above eight size. So you can try odd. A lot of them work now with the new vectors, but up to you. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen. Right. Got it to the right size. You change to the offset terrain. And if you're moving the right way, push it one into the board. And just hit it. Now, if you select this, you'll see no distortions shown there. This side is covered in them. And that's because this side here is exactly in the middle, which is why I like using the evens. Now, to fix the other side, what we do is you copy it. paste it out and just put it right over the selection box. If we can get it right. And just paste it on this side. Then if you just bit back to the selection tool, copy the same area again, and you see now we've got a decent curve. So just get rid of that. And We want a corner of this with a bit of wood, so we've got something to work with. Now, you probably don't need it all. Just take a slice, copy it, and just lay it down on the floor. And turn it towards you. There's a curve. Then you just move up and step it up to whatever height you need your staircase to be. As you see, nice clean rings, they don't distort each other. So once you've got your correct height, decide how wide you want your stairs. And you can chop off everything up to the end curve, so if you need to. So just select anything that's excess. down to there and I think I want that at the back so just copy the staircase again Change the horizontal axis across, mirror it, and just paste it next to it. Now, fill in any gaps if you need to in the front, and just do the same for the back. So, bring this up. Make sure you level with there. Move this face just to the back and put a wall in there. Just add it and slightly small cubes. Then just fill in the rest of these gaps. Just adding or use the selection tool. And 
if you're lazy like me, you can just copy out this section. And mirror it across again. And there you go. Nice simple staircase. Nice smooth curves. Hope that helps everyone.